All right, folks, so we've got something interesting to be looking at here today. So Kyle Kalinske has basically uh, explained that there is a difference between Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren. This is something we've been talking about, I feel like, maybe a little bit too frequently at this point. The differences between Elizabeth Warren and Bernie Sanders. Who's more progressive? You know, who's a better candidate, etc., etc. And then sort of... Is Elizabeth Warren a great candidate? You know, because obviously the situation is Bernie Sanders is by far and away the best candidate, hands down, no questions asked whatsoever. Then the question is, where does that place Elizabeth Warren? Now, uh, a lot of people make the point, like, yo, man, Elizabeth Warren is by far better than all the, all the other candidates. I'll give you that. I definitely agree. She's a lot better than the other candidates, but that doesn't mean much. And so... I don't think that she's a great candidate. I think that Bernie is uh, the best candidate. And I think Warren is like a pretty distant second. And then everyone else is just complete garbage. You know what I'm saying? So uh, that that's kind of the situation that we're looking at here. Now, we've been looking at multiple different commentators saying that, you know, they're similar. Uh, you know, Emma Vigeland is someone who's really gone to bat for Elizabeth Warren for multiple years now, two, three years. Uh, we also saw a video of yesterday of David Pakman saying that there, that Bernie is marginally more progressive than Elizabeth Warren, which essentially means they're pretty much the same. Bernie just slightly edges her out in terms of progressivism. And we know that the Young Turks have also been shockingly soft on Elizabeth Warren. Let's keep it real here, folks. Really, really soft. Uh, and it's really weird, especially because Jank is, you know, he started his uh, PAC, and it's supposed to be this committee that's trying to get uh, money out of politics. But as you guys know, Elizabeth Warren took, uh, you know, big fundraiser dollars in her last Senate race. One of the people who was actually fundraising for Joe Biden, who Elizabeth Warren went after, he had actually gave funds to her, and he called her out for being a hypocrite. Additionally, she's going to take uh, big fundraiser dollars as well as corporate PAC money in the general election. So it's like, yo... What's going on with that? You know, how are you going to be nice on that issue when that's supposed to be your main thing? So, Kyle Kalinske tweeted this out, all right? He said, as you guys can see here, he says, If you're a left-wing commentator and claiming Bernie and Warren are the same, or even similar, stop it. There's a world of difference between the two, and you know that. Just stop it. Now, of course, this is actually a pretty strong statement, because he says... Not only does he say that the claim that Bernie and Warren are the same is ridiculous, but he even is saying that the claim that they're similar is ridiculous, which really puts... I mean, there's a lot of people in the progressive community right now who are progressive left-wing commentators. Now, as you guys know, Kyle doesn't like to do beef. He tries to stay out of beef as much as possible, and so this is his way of throwing like little subs uh, you know, uh, at people to like kind of let them know. Uh, but the people you're looking at here, Emma Viglin, David Pacman, as we saw from yesterday, uh, TYT as well, Jank. I think Anna Kasparian had said on TYT that she's endorsing Bernie Sanders. Jank said that he's going to wait it out to hear out the other candidates. Again, some weird stuff about that. I don't understand that at all. I'm thinking they're probably, they've probably, uh, they're probably in a situation where they're exchanging for access. Because as you guys know... If TYT does any sort of a hardball interview with Elizabeth Warren, she's not going to come on their show. Because obviously, why would she go into hardball territory? The reason why she's going on is because it's sort of a home run, easy, progressive interview. And so what TYT and Cenk Uyghur have been critiquing for years, I guess they're doing themselves now. Which is a pretty, it's kind of sad. I would say it's kind of sad. Especially when, dude, like your main thing is money and politics. And you're defending her and going to bat for her, where he's literally come out in defense and saying, oh, you guys are defaming her. She's just saying that she'll take fundraiser dollars. Like, that's just as bad. That's just as horrible. You know, going to the Hamptons and doing those big dollar fundraisers is just as bad as taking PAC money. It's the same thing, actually, pretty much. So, it's pretty weird and ridiculous, certainly, there. But he's clearly uh, sort of making his position clear. Now, he also sent out another tweet uh, after this. He says, Tomorrow I'll be doing a segment laying out exactly why Bernie is the clear choice over Elizabeth Warren if you have a social democratic or democratic socialist ideology. That's not your ideology. That's fine. If it is, this isn't a difficult question at all. So, um, I guess, I don't know if he's just trying to say, like, oh, 
for some of the social democrats slash dem soch bernie should be your candidate and if not then oh it's not your ideology you know i guess he's just trying to explain that now he's going to do a segment i guess laying all laying all of it down as to why bernie's better there is no question as to whether or not Bernie Sanders is better. I think the question that comes in play is how good is Warren? Um, in my estimation, Elizabeth Warren is a little bit better than mediocre is where I would place her because if we want to go, if you want to go through the list, and I've gone over these things so many different times, right? So uh, for me, the biggest thing, okay, is that she's going to be taking uh, corporate money in the general election. She went on TYT. She went on Chris Hayes' show. And she said, I don't believe in unilateral disarmament. Basically means we're going to play by the same rules, which means you guys, uh, you know, rake in a bunch of fundraiser money. We're going to do the same thing, which is like, OK, this is just a corporate sellout fest, essentially. is what it, Literally, that's what it is. Who can sell out harder is essentially what that is, which is ridiculous. Uh, and you can't take that money without corrupting yourself, folks. So automatically... You're talking about that's already like, you know, one strike, you're out type of thing. Already automatically done, out. Then you're talking about Elizabeth Warren voting for Donald Trump's uh, 2017 foreign policy budget, which had uh, given him more money than he had asked for himself. She voted for that. Bernie didn't vote for that. And when just not even pressed, just asked about it from Emma Vigland, she started to just kind of go like full NPC mode and start talking about how the admin the current Trump administration is uh you know they're not they're not following or accepting any sort of rec recusal rules in in issues of conflict of interest so it's like oh if you're like a former Raytheon CEO should you really be allowed to deal with measures that deal with Raytheon uh, obviously the answer is no but what does that have to do with what you did that makes it even worse uh, you know because then you're implying that either you're a sellout as well or you know it's just weird uh, you talk about Political courage coming down from 2016. Of course, she did not endorse Bernie Sanders. She stood idly by. I believe, and I don't know if this is correct, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but my understanding is she was waiting for a potential sort of appointment as vice president for Hillary's campaign. Now, I'm not 100% sure on that, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that that's what she was actually partially waiting on. It's partially that and also partially, you know, a run in the future. You don't want to alienate the very people who are supporting her right now, right? Because she would, that's what she would be doing. She would be alienating the people who support her now. Um, and obviously, she was making a political calculation there. Again, you're talking about a pushover weakling who does this like little political calculation type of stuff. And it's like, really? That's what you're going to do? That just reminds me of Hillary Clinton and that kind of uh, you know political maneuvering, etc., etc. You guys remember Dapple, the Dakota Access Pipeline? She didn't come up until like really late. I think after the issue is even over, Jimmy Dore has a good video on that I recommend checking out. Just go in and search that, you know, Jim Dore, Elizabeth Warren, uh, Dakota Access Pipeline. Um, and there's just a, a bunch of a litany of different stuff. But that, I think, is enough sort of to put her out of bad. I, I, also, I want to say her housing her housing plan sucks. Also, her health care policy, as I mentioned the other day, she didn't even have a health care page on her website till the day before the recent debate. So she says she supports Medicare for All. But she doesn't specifically say single payer or mention Bernie's Medicare for All plan. So it leaves in this wiggle room, which is unacceptable. She's also used the phrase access to health care. None of this stuff is the same as Bernie. And someone said something really funny. They were like, Elizabeth Warren's campaign slogan should be, uh, she stole a plan from the, uh, for that. Because that's really what she's done. She's basically hijacked all of Bernie's ideas. And then now people are crediting her. Because obviously... You know, there are a lot of people who don't like Bernie Sanders who are resistance people because they don't like white males. Let's keep it real. Uh, there's a lot of people like that. We've seen a lot of those people on MSNBC like Mimi Cockroach and a lot of those people. Uh, and, and it's really bad. And it's really bad. So when it comes to TYT doing that kind of stuff in terms of being very sort of, uh, I don't know, uh, I guess you could say nice to Warren. But again, just the point being that the idea that they're the same or that Elizabeth Warren is a great candidate not doing really good uh, critiques. Uh, you know, David Pacman just the other day, we saw him say that Bernie's marginally more progressive than Warren. And he also was trying to have the conversation as to whether or not Elizabeth Warren would be the more effective, uh, you know, legislator, or, you know, just p person in power 
to get stuff done, which of course is a ridiculous conversation that has no place to exist whatsoever, because the obvious answer is no. So he's certainly talking about, you know, basically just fit the bill with whatever lefty commentator you want. That's the person he's talking about here. Uh, you know, he's just talking about whatever lefty commentator you want to think about. Um, but the main ones I can think of are Jank Uger at the Young Turks, you know, David Pakman, and Emma Vigland is a very big one of this as well. She's been really, really a big defender of Elizabeth Warren for quite a while now. I'm not sure what's going on there. She has characterized Warren as a great candidate, which I wholeheartedly disagree with. Again, if I had to, uh, to repeat, I had to do a just sort of pinpointing of what I think, uh, you know, she is as a candidate in terms of quality. I would say she's a little bit better than mediocre. That's about what I would say, because to be quite truthful with you, that's where I put it at. I think Kyle's definitely right. And as you guys know, Kyle had made a video uh, a couple weeks ago or so where he was saying that, you know, Warren, uh, you know, Bernie needs to set himself apart from Warren by just making these sort of comments without making any sort of inflammatory statements or going after her. Um, and I'm not really sure if that's a good idea. I think we need to have a renewed conversation as to whether or not that's a, a sort of good strategy at this point, whether or not Bernie can really gain over any of the Warren supporters. I'm also partially convinced that the momentum that Warren has right now is going to fizzle out. I really don't see her lasting, uh, not being this high forever. But, you know, time will tell on that front. But I want to know your thoughts on this down below. Definitely let me know.